oh no, we got a band, something, blah blah blah, like conversations. Green Machine. I mean, well, yes, I mean, I, I think that Mono Green is extremely good against Saltai Ramp. Uh, if Saltai Ramp wants to change their deck to beat the Green Machine, they can obviously, but uh, six copies is a lot, folks. There, I feel like there's some innovating to be done here. Jerry Thompson, Brian Gottlieb, they did a podcast on the Arena Decklist podcast. Fan, uh, phenomenal listen, as always, this past week, talking. Jerry, very adamant that Saltai Ramp is not the best deck in standard. It's not even that particularly even that good of a deck. And I was right I, I was right there with him all the way. Uh, if you guys have the opportunity this weekend uh, to listen to that, I, I encourage you to do so. It's a very, very good podcast. It always is, every episode. But come on now, folks. Six is a lot. And, and I don't think we're talking about an overpowered deck here. I think we're talking about a good deck among what should be a lot of good decks in the format. That's 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 the end of my rant. That's all I got. Even if it doesn't feel like the end of my rant. It's the end of my rant. With well, that out of the way, let's do it well, to this it, is the th This is the uh, test right here. You would love to see and it, this is a deck which is very different. It's not like a three-color mid-range deck with slightly different removal or slightly different planeswalkers. It's an entirely different thing. Uh, be able to take this match and, and maybe beyond. We're going to see a Thought Eraser right here. Take a little look, Ski Poo. Spire Dragon, Opt, Brazen Borrower, Storming Entity, Shock, a couple of lands. Let's see if we want to fire off this Opt here. Looks like we don't crash through. That'll be the draw step. It's going to be a bit of a slow start here for Masaru. Ever heard of this card? You seen this one before? I have. You hear about this thing? Here or there. Keep on <laughs> banning Simic cards and I still see it. But whatever. <laughs> you hear about this hero thing now? Pretty unbelievable. <laughs> All right, showtime. Crash lose the draw. There's an opt. That means Storming Entity is headed, uh, is headed on to this battlefield in just a moment. Here comes an island. Here comes the entity. I'll do a little, uh, do a little scrying. Spread deuce. Well, we'll see where this uh, where this takes us. Looks like unsummon and opt are the cards that we're taking a look at here on the scries. So one top, one bottom. Looks like Opt's going to stay on top. E2 Extinction, not a fifth land, so no Nissa showing up right now. Still a good hand, though. You got Hydroid Crisis, you can cycle Shark Typhoon. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of functionality in this hand, a lot of decisions being made. You can just simply cast E2 Extinction right now, kill that creature, and then move on with your life. And I actually kind of like that. Let's just keep it kind of simple, right? No Riddle Form in the battlefield, no Sprite Dragon, nothing like that. So just kill what you believe is your opponent's real only creature at the moment and move on with your life. Yeah, and also, I mean, part of it is the... the uh, the Krasis and the Brazen Borrower, for different reasons, get more powerful if and when Nissa is on the battlefield. Your four mana card really doesn't. So uh, I, I like that sequencing both for that turn and for future turns. Fair enough. I'm with you on that one. Uh, this is a. I don't know if you. Have you heard about this thing? You've heard of this thing? Yeah, you've you heard about this thing, though? Nissa! Here comes a breeding pool, which means that Petty <laughs> Theft is at the ready. Or a cycling shark typhoon if we're really feeling like we can't lose. So <laughs> Yeah, and this is one of those times. So if I'm Masaru, I'm like I'm not conceding the game as the top eight, obviously, but like I mean <laughs> You know what this is a deck could use? A good card. Some more dual lands. <laughs> it is that would really help. knows. It's really noticeable when you got a lot of cheap blue spells and a lot of cheap red spells, and your deck's trying to cast multiple spells on a turn, and you've just got a bunch of basic islands, basic mountains. I think it would help. I think it would help a little bit. Here's Brazen Borrower. No, kindly leave Riddle Form. You go ahead and take a break. I mean, I will say, it is nice to have a breaking team of Reclamation doing its thing. That deck just didn't feel beatable at all. Here's Crash Through. Teach him. Or as I like to call it, the Ryan Overturf Special. I've been crashing through a little bit. Oh, have you? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, when good I, guy. When I play Modern, when I, when I feel like indulging my Mistress Bobble fetish, go ahead and log on there. <laughs> 
<laughs> give the team trample, as it were. Yeah. This is back. Yeah, when it's a, a game about a bunch of nickel and dime uh, exchanges and trying to get slightly ahead on the battlefield, uh, personal mana flare plus mega three three every turn is pretty good. <laughs> pretty feeling. Uh, it's gonna be hard for Abe to keep up with this, but we'll see. Anyone's uh, game. I don't know how much longer we're gonna see, but we will see. Their best cards. The the whole thing they try to do is get a three three onto the table. This does that every turn. <laughs> you know, I, I can't, I can't fight you on that one. That's just all. That's just all true. That's just all true. Riddle form, the three three flyer, the bone look, crusher giant. Look, because... look, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Where no one's arguing otherwise. It's a lot. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Two lands headed to the bottom. Good place for those. There's one of those dual lands you're looking for there, bud. Found Wait. one. This deck needs ship and reef or something. <laughs> I'm thinking, you remember those heinous Kamigawa dual lands? Like when you tapped them for a color, it stayed tapped the next turn. Have you seen the Tempest tap and pain lands? Oh, yeah. You're going to pay a lot for that muffler. That's the what Caldera, that is. I believe the Caldera Lake was part of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Here's Bone Crusher Giant. Good by Brazen Borrower. Thought Erasure the draw. But we got double the mana, double the fun. Let's uh let's turn up the heat here with this swamp, shall we? Oh, all of it. Get a little taste. Probably have to trade. Well, if we're not trading, we're no. well, I mean if we're trading, we're losing. <laughs> yeah. If we're not, we're losing. I mean what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's whatever. I'm not really. Yeah, I'm trying to do my job here, but what are we even talking about right now? You know, what are we? What are we even doing? I'm just out here doing the best I can. Right. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Sometimes it's ugly. Uh, uh, okay. Take that, Hydroid Crisis. I say... I say I move the game, too. What do you think? Well... 21-2. to uh, What's that? 21-2. Abe okay. has the fifth best permanent on the battlefield. Okay, we can let it go. <laughs> Alright, we let it go. We let it, we let it go. Yeah, it's like it, it's like those what are those what are those <laughs> things in what are those things in curling? Is it the rock? <laughs> it's where you just release. Yeah. And you just push it away. And you don't worry about anything else. You just let it go down the ice. Uh Star City Games. Oh Patrick, I know you dabble here. The HP single sale. Sword kind of cannot oh. be applied to items, but everything else can. If you want to get some nice singles that are heavily played, and you know that going in, eyes open, like Cyclonic Rift, Bird's Paradise, Demonic Tutor, Patrick Sullivan has been known to dig through the HP bin. I'll, I'll tell you this. When we're done with this round, I'm going to be trawling through the sale. There it is. There he is. I, I'm not trying to denigrate our sales team, but they mess up constantly with this one. If you, if you no. have it in you, to dig through the pages for a little while, you are going to find some really good deals. <laughs> you're all about those good deals, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah no, you, you are. Look at, if you're looking to get ahead a nickel and a dime at a time, go to that single sale over starcitygames.com. If that's quick, not a... Because it's going to be picked It's going to be picked <laughs> clean soon. Yeah, our next break, he's going in on the sale. Here's Riddle Form. If that's not a ringing endorsement, I don't know what is. It's gonna be gonna pick the bones dry. Yeah. You're gonna go to you're gonna have a bunch of stuff in your cart and you're gonna go to checkout and it's gonna say unavailable. Yeah. <laughs> Items are unavailable. Where'd they go? You know where and they go. And you're like, that's weird. There were thirteen Ravnica Birds of Paradise in there. <laughs> How could they all be gone five minutes later? <laughs> so you've been warned. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I really like that we can't cast our dragon in our crash through next turn because our hand has five islands in it. It's a tough look. 
All right, bye bye riddle form. But you know what? Draw a card. It's the uh, that's the raking claws double strike strategy. Where do we go here? Do we go? I mean, I think you just have to get. Okay, so you can crash through, play the entity. You can play the dragon. You can play riddle form. None of these things are exciting. Well, I guess like trying to figure out the right sequence is, is tough here. So, okay, so we're going to start here. Dragon, one you. Pass. All right. Crisis the draw. I actually kind of like this because if it's close for short and long term, you know, all options are about as good as each other. Get the red card out of your hand while you're jammed up on red mana. Because okay. the worst thing that you can do is get stuck with a hand of all cheap red cards and only one red source. Yep. So if it's close, just cast the red card. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, another mountain. Needed that. Well, do you want to get the? Do you want to get the other red card out of your hand again now, or do you want to go to the entity? And the, the, the longer we're going to riddle form, isn't it just the worse that it gets? Uh, yeah, depending. If you, I mean, if you can leave a cantrip back in all of this, that helps a lot with like the implication that the real form can keep going. Okay. The other mountain alleviates the pressure now of having to just play the red cards. Now you can just cast whatever you think is best because you're not going to be bottlenecked on playing your cards efficiently. Okay. Okay. It's tough. It's a tough spot right now. No doubt about it. It's a tough spot. This is actually going pretty well. I mean, um. You have enough of a presence on the battlefield where it's it's not trivial for Gordon Brown just to deploy Nissa and run away with the game. Eliminate is fine on this battlefield. So what do you do? You... All right, so we're gonna eliminate Sprite. Yep. And then I guess Brazen Borrower is like kind of at the ready. To block, I mean, it, it demands be. something. Probably, I mean, it's probably not going to offer a block here. It's just too risky against something with prowess. But okay, this is not bad. All right. We got some work to do. Unsubstantiate is not a bad draw. I'll say that. No, not at all. It's not a bad draw. This is one of those. This is one of those game states where unsubstantiate actually ends up looking quite good. So let's get a little busy here. In for four. Kick it back. Eat to extinction. That's a juicy. Oh, uh, well, actually, they have six mana, so that's tough. Yeah, I mean the unsubstantiate's not bad here in that most of Gordon Brown's impactful plays are going to be the entire turn. And you get a reprieve and a counter on your sprite to boot. The problem is that uh, light tolls are still pretty high here. Yep. All right, so let's kick it off with an opt. Let's see what we can find on on the pre-combat main phase. Four four and a two two. One top, one bottom. What do we draw? Oh, okay, okay. Talk to me. Talk to me. Second, I'll substantiate. Let's get to work. E to extinction. No? Uh huh. Brazy B? ETE. I like ETE. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. I think it's worth at least pausing with the Brazen Borrower there because uh, it's unlikely to be uh, a chump blocker the next turn for or to trade with anything. It's just a chump blocker. So yep. it's worth at least considering is this a good time to try to put this in front of the 2 2? But I agree that like the floor is just too low on that play. All right, so we're going to get a little bit of a fight here. So Sprite Dragon. You're going to get a Substantiate. A Substantiate is going to get countered by Negate. Okay. So now... E2 Extinction is going to work. And I still think that this is... I mean, this isn't your favorite, but like this is all right. Right, so you get in your five points of damage, you play your riddle form post, and you just ship? Oh, you're going to no, leave up on substantiate. Probably just leave up on substantiate again. 
I think I wanted to deploy a threat. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. It's close. You're not that far off from being able to do a, a Raking Claws combo kill. Yeah. So maybe I mean, you just want to unsubstantiate and then... No, no, that's valid. I mean, I guess... Okay, so now we're going to bounce. We're going to bounce this. Okay. So, I mean, can we can we actually... So what is it? Riddle form, trigger, turn into a 4-4. Four, four. Raking Claws, trigger, turn into a 5-5, five, five, right? That's 10. Yeah. But okay, so not okay. So you're not there yet. So you gotta you gotta get a little lucky here in order to kill this turn. It's not impossible. Let's see what the draw yeah, step is. Burn spells to together some cantrips. Yeah, I mean that's a whammy. There's there's it's also that. not. It's not the worst constellation prize to hit for four here. You can scribe with the riddle form, and then you have a lot of shots at some sequence that hopefully ends the game. That's fair. Another, Another nice thing here for, for Abe is that uh, Gordon Brown's hand is not great. I mean, it's serviceable, but you're looking at Nissa and then a play, all of which don't really defend you all that well from the air. Yep. I guess alternatively, you could just play a big Hydroid Crisis, but that seems like you're vulnerable to a lot of sequences that kill you. It's probably Nissa and then some stuff. So we play on. All right. Well, we've seen this bozo before. Nobody's friend. An hydroid crisis. All right. So let's scry. We gotta find some gas. Okay. That card stayed on top. Talk to me, dealer. Crash through. Great place to start. Crash through is awesome as a starting point here. All right. So let's do this. Prowess. Three three. Draw. Big draw. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I think that, well, it depends, depends how we block here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The claws! <laughs> Calm down! Is it over? I don't think I it's mean, over. It's, it's 10, right? Prowess plus double strike? Oh, no, you're right. Oh, yeah, baby! We clawed him right out of the sky! That's the ar, ar, on the nose. Ar, 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 ar. Been Not a huge fan of the of the sequencing here from Abe. I would have preferred to cycle the first lethal one and then play the second one. Oh, I see. I, I feel you. I feel you. Just the misclick, maybe I don't know, sort of moment. Oh, and then, boy, just put, put, you him, know? put, him right, put him right over the edge. Try to tilt him for game three. Exactly. Maybe an emote. Sit, whoops, Ebo, whoops. Yeah. And then go a, the little, a, little, a little tilt equity. You cycle, <laughs> and, then you, and, then, and then it's like, oh, but I drew the, I drew the next one. Yeah. Yeah. So I got very lucky and got away with it. You know, you're very smart, much like Sheldon, Menery, and Anthony Alonghi are. StarCityGames.com slash Commander Community. That's one of our new Commander-focused YouTube shows that you can check out. Again, StarCityGames.com slash Commander Community. It's Sheldon. It's Anthony. If you love Commander like those two do, definitely be sure to check out that show. Tilt Equity, it's a big deal. It's really a big deal. You try to, you got to try to knock people over the edge a little bit, I think. It's part of the game. It is. I mean, it's a huge part of my game. I don't know if it's a huge part of the game. It's a huge part of my game. <laughs> I live for it. I, I love it. We're getting ready for G3. We're underway. Decent enough handing for both players. Uh, it's a little clunky on is it aggro side. Need to draw a couple of lands. These Dreadheart Arcanists are looking especially bad. Nothing to really do. I also think that this build of Is It Aggro is... Oh, excuse me, this build of Salty Ramp is a, is a tough one here for Is It Aggro. Yeah, I mean, the cheap removal is a, is a huge deal. I mean, it, just being able to keep your head above water in these early turns. And it's not guaranteed you win the game if you go to, like, turn 6, 7, and beyond. But you're definitely favored. Yeah, I, mean, I just think that the, this build of the deck makes life a little bit more difficult than you'd like. Uh, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes sometimes, obviously. But, you know, it's um, a bra Brazen Borrower, because I, I think we as a community, we all understand how good Brazen Borrower is, but we don't fully understand that this this card is outrageous. And, and it's, it's a big... It's, it's, it's so good in so many different respects, but all, yes. part of it is the Nissa turn, where you get to play Nissa, and then with your leftover mana impact the battlefield like that's that's it's frequently enormous. with this deck that's the shit that's yeah. the moment where now you're ahead and your opponent can't really catch up yeah and, and brazen borrower most you know petty theft but brazen borrower is 
uh, you know, a, a, a key part of those kind of sequences. It just oftentimes feels like such an enormous swing in the game. It really does. And a big part of it, too, is just not all of your two mana cards work with the Nissa sequ sequences. You know, some of your removal isn't reliable. It doesn't always work. But it's very hard for Petty Theft to not impact the best permanent your opponent has. Yeah, I would agree with that. You're already seeing the mana advantage that Alexander Gordon Brown's starting to develop here with his Saltai Ramp deck with Mystical Dispute at the ready. Steam Vents is not a bad draw. Got to be able to deploy two spells in one turn. I think that's crucial here. I mean, everything from, from Masaru's perspective should be either can I prevent Nyssa from resolving and if not how do I advance my battlefield the best way to dampen the impact of Nyssa yep it's so much these games when you're playing in Sultai and I, I know this from personal experience so I think the thing that you're talking on and touching on right now is such a big deal which is how do I dampen the impact of Nyssa because when Nyssa shows up and it, you get to untap with Nyssa that's when the game ends. That's when Saltai goes into overdrive. So you have a, you kind of have a job as a player to say, you know what, I need to set everything up leading into when they have five mana, which in a perfect world is turn five, but sometimes leading into the fourth turn where it's like, okay, you play Anissa, it's not the end of the game for me and I can't catch up with this thing. Now, naturally, there's no Nissa here at this stage of things, but here comes Dreadhorde Arcanist, which is, you know, just looking, looking a, little, a little loose. It's just so hard to play catch up from this spot. And it, for, for this, is it deck? Yes. I 100% agree. The Izzet deck plays very well up, uh, ahead and pretty poorly behind. And it's definitely not a deck that blocks well. We know that. You know, scry a land at the bottom. We're heading back to AGB. Second overall seed here with the innovative take on Salta Ramp. Different from what is... Certainly stock right now, as here comes Ether Gus. Kind of leave. Arcanus. So that thing's going to the bottom. There's a Triome. Here. Mm. No attack. Which I think I like. Yeah, I mean, because your position's so commanding. Why would you get into a race? Yeah, because what's the rush, right? Like, they can't, your opponent can't outdraw you. Your cards are better than theirs. So what's the rush? I think I, I think I like that. I said, and try, you know, like, and, and getting the game, making the game into a race is the path where Saru can catch up with bounce spells. As long as you hang back and it's like, you, you, you need to take so many game actions to be able to initiate anything that requires a response. You can only throw so many of those punches before you run out of stuff to do. Let's go for a sprint. A little bit of a jog. You want to go for a jog with me? Sure. I've been jogging it. a little bit. Ooh, I don't recommend that. Ugh. I don't know. It's quarantine. Can't stay in the house all day. No, nah, yeah. I mean you're right. I mean I, I take I take wow. I take walks. I ride I ride a I got a Peloton. I don't know what that is. It's a bike. It's a like stationary bike with okay. a like with like a monitor up front and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty cool. You get a good sweat. You get a good sweat. If that's what you're looking for with your runs, I just, I, I wish I liked running. I really do. I tried. Oh, it is awful. I mean, <laughs> it's terrible and not fun. Anyone who says they like it is lying. But it's a thing to do, yeah. you know? It's like Stormy Andy's headed to the bottom with the scry. I wonder if that's the consensus opinion. Everyone's just like, I hate it. So that is what, what, what's happening here. Uh, this can't go well. 3 4 into the Maws of a 4 4. This. Mm. A blo block and pass. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Just go ahead and put that right into the bin. Oh boy. Didn't need it. Heat to extinction. That's fine. You can miscast that. 
I got some. I got something coming for you this turn. Brace borrower the draw. You hear about this? You hear about this Uro thing? You heard about you this thing? What, you see what you get for three mana nowadays? <laughs> See this thing? Well, all this. You get all you get all this for three mana. It's pretty good. And then this for four. Wow, this. You hear about this thing? <laughs> you kidding me? I'll tell you what. They're not messing around anymore with what they're printing. They'll print anything. Print it all. Yeah. <laughs> we we print anything. I don't know. Everyone seems like they're having a good time. Whatever. Dude, I'm having a good time moving it with scavenging units is what I'm doing. Why don't yeah. you get that out of here? Oh. That's right. Just a little it's like a tasty morsel for Have the you gotten to threaten someone's Uro yet? I never I actually have never done it before. The satisfying part is the gaining three yeah. as as you are killing them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I enjoy eating it with scavenging goose, but more importantly, I like when they have like their turn is return it, and then you primal you primal hunger your creature into just a seven seven or bigger, and it's like all right, bin that, take five million. Yeah, I like the the moment here of just like a flurry of moves to get out from the submission hold you're in, uh -huh. and you look up and it's like, okay, where are they at? Seventeen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, we're out from underneath that temporarily. And we got a two-two, and we have a two-two flyer that could get larger. Okay, where are they? At? A seventeen? Yeah, yeah, they're. How's they that are, possible? They I've are. Tapped out, I've tapped out every turn. Yeah. <laughs> I I use my mana. I use my mana every <laughs> turn of the game. They had twenty. Yeah. <laughs> that's the. That's what you start at. Well, look out! Look out, ladies and gentlemen! A little cute dragon is here. The riddle form. All right, let's crank it up. Yeah, that might be part of the problem. Beatdowns, well, hi. Perhaps, perhaps do a little blocking, do a little trading. Come on, there can't be five cards in the graveyard again, right? Come on. That can't be possible. Land, sure. Nah, nah, nah. There's no way there's five. No way. There'll never be. There'll never be five again, ever. Racist attack. Surprised. I would have just want to keep. I would want to keep milking it. <laughs> it's time to. It's, it's time to grind it into submission. I think. It's time. It's time to. It's. I know that you want to keep milking it, but I think it's time to. It's time to. It's time to end it. Yeah, it's go. fine. Brazen Borrower. Well, that's fun. That's fun and cool. Heartless Act, aptly named. Kill that and kill you. And Alexander Gordon Brown is going to win this match. Moving on to our semifinals with Salt High Ramp. I know Brian Gottlieb was really digging this build of the deck. And we're going to get to see a little bit more of it 